Interpretation of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we started to have interpretation of Quran, chapter Mutaffafi. We reach to the verse 29. Please listen to the verse 29. Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala says, In the Lazina Ajaramu, Kanu min al Lazina Amanu Yazhakun. Surely they who are guilty used to laugh at those who believe. Wa is a maru behim yetagamazun, and wink one to another when they pass them. Wa is an galebu ila ahlehim in galebu fakihin. And when they return to their own folk, they return jesting. In these verses, Allah Taala is warning us. Allah wants to say, what is the behavior of guilty people, sinners? And at the same time to warn the believers that when you face unbelievers and sinful people, what they are going to do, and you should not be worried and not change your mind. When a person wants to drive to go from one city to another city, one country to another country, he tries to find a person that who has gone this road to this country, for example, and has some experience. He tries to get some information, what is the reason behind that? He knows if he understands the problem in that country, he is going to get ready for that. For driving in a road, if he knows what is the problem in the road, what the problems he is going to face, before traveling, he is going to get ready to solve those problems. Allah Taala wants to warn us and says, O oh, believers, in the world, you will face some people, criminals, sinful people, sinners, those that, who are committing sin easily. When you face them, what is their reaction? And when you understand the problems and get ready for that, that then you are not going to change your mind, your belief, your religion easily. Unfortunately, many brothers and sisters are living in the countries that there are certain people who doesn't care about the religion, about the belief, even sometimes about moral. Then they are going to attack us. They are going to attack our kids. If we want to worship Allah, if we want to obey Allah, even unfortunately, sometimes we see a person who names himself as a Muslim, but when he sees himself in a society that there are many unbelievers, he is going to change overnight. Then, okay, what is his reaction regarding to us? Allah is going to warn us in these verses until we get ready. If we travel to those countries, to understand how to face these problems and how to protect and keep our beliefs and our Islamic culture. Unfortunately, we have seen many peoples that since they didn't know 
the problems of those societies. They lost their beliefs. They lost even their kids. They could not keep their Islamic culture for themselves and their family. They want to achieve something from those countries that, of course, I believe that and I confirm that there are some advantages on those countries, in those countries, and it is wonderful we gain them. But there is a condition. The condition is something that we have, and they are wonderful, our beliefs, our Islamic cultures. We cannot, we should not lose them. If a person immigrates from his country to another country, to developed country, he wants to achieve something. He doesn't want to lose something. There are certain peoples who are very clever. They travel to these countries and they achieve a lot. And some people, unfortunately, they lose. Overall, after 40 years, 30 years, they believe themselves that they lost. So I'm going to talk about these verses to understand what is the problem in those society. First, Allah Taala says, those people who commit sin, when they pass you, in the ajramu kanu min al-lazina amanu yalhakul. Those who do not believe and commit sin, be sure they laugh at you. They mock you, وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَقَامَزُونَ And they, when they pass you, they wink one another. It means they laugh at you by a sign on their eyes. Don't think that you are wrong. Allah says those who are criminals and who are committing sin easily, this is their behavior. This is the way that they grow up with that. When a person commits sin, his conscience will tell him, blame him, that why you are doing such a thing? He tries to blame other people to make the problem easy for himself. And when they go and join their folks, they try to enjoy and be happy and return jesting. Allah Taala says, so one of the behavior for criminals, those who are committing sin, is they are blaming you and reproach you that in Islam it is condemned. Even the Muslims cannot blame any other people. Even if you see something wrong about your brother or sister, you should approach them in a nice way with a very softly behavior as Prophet peace be upon him was teaching the other people, even non-Muslims, in such a way, Allah Taala says to the Prophet, "O oh, the Prophet, ولو كنت فضلا قليل القلب لن فضل من هولك." If you were harsh with these people, they were leaving you alone. If you attracted people, it is because of your moral. And Prophet, peace be upon him, says, I am chosen as a prophet to raise your moral, to, to teach you. So this is our responsibility to have wonderful moral. So we are not allowed to blame anybody. Even if we see something wrong, we should mention them in a proper way, with Islamic moral, wonderful manners. So one of these, their behavior is to blame the others, although they are committing sin. And when they see the believers, righteous people, they start to blame. So don't worry if at the airport you are saying pray and some people, non-believers or even unfortunately, some Muslims, they look at you and say, oh my God, at the airport he is praying. Of course, I'm praying. There is no any circumstances that I am allowed to leave my prayer in the plane. 
Yes, in the plane. When you ask somebody in the plane to help you, they will respect you. So there is no any excuse to leave the prayer even inside the plane. Direction of the gobble is so easy. They will ask the capital captain and ask and answer you, okay, this is the direction. You can ask, okay, what is the direction of Saudi Arabia? Which side is Saudi Arabia? So easy in the plane. And they give you a lot of respect. Why? Because they know that really you believe in your God. This is the reason that even when you go to Europe in different airports, you will see that there is a certain place it is ready for those who are praying and they want to worship the Lord. So there is no any excuse. Even some, if some people make fun of you and mock at you, that's okay. This is something that Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala is warning us that you face such a problem, get ready for that. When Allah says, Inna lazina ajramu kanu min lazina amanu yazhakun, it means you are going to face some sting from non believers, get ready for that. If you want to change your belief, because of such a problem, you are not allowed to travel to those countries. When Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَزْهَكُونَ It means, this is the behavior that they are continuing doing such a things. This is not as an accident, one time, two times, once, twice, no. They are doing every time. Then Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَزْحَكُونَ It means a person who is committing sin tries to hurt you spiritually. Physically they can't do anything. But spiritually they look at you in such a way that it bothers you. You say, my heart, is, my feeling is hurt. What does it mean? It means he didn't do me anything physically, but spiritually he hurt me. Allah says, okay, this is their behavior. Don't worry. Please listen to the verse 32 to 36. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَؤُلَاءِ إِلَى الظَّالُّونَ And when they saw them, they said, surely these have gone astray. It means the believers are lost the road. They are misguided. It means this is the accusation that the sinners are telling. Those who are committing sin, the criminals, they say, oh, they lost the road. وَمَا أُرْسِلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ حَافِظِينَ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, don't worry. They have nothing to do with you. They are not your guardians. They are not your protectors. They were not sent to be keepers over them. It means this is not their job. This is not their business. Leave them alone. فَالْيَوْمْ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَزْحَكُونَ فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَزْحَكُونَ But in judgment day, this day, it is those who believe, who have the laugh of disbelievers. In the world, they were mocking on you, laughing at you. Don't worry. In judgment day, it will be the other side. You will sit there and enjoy, and they you will laugh at them. 
على الارائك ينظرون اون هاي كوتشز جازينج هل سبب الكفار ما كانوا يفعلون aren't the disbelievers paid for what they used to do it means if they will be punished in judgment day and they will see that believers are laughing at them it is because of them they have done something wrong they started to make fun of them and they disobeyed Allah this is something that they have done and achieved for themselves Allah Taala says وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّهَا أُولَاءِ لَضَالُّونَ It means because they insist on committing sin, little by little their judgment will be changed. At the beginning their conscience will tell them what is good and what is bad. But since they insist on committing sin, little by little their judges will be different. They look at you, at the beginning they believe that you are obeying Allah and they make a mistake but little by little they will be changed when Allah says وَمَا رُسِلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ حافظين, it means they are not deserved to protect you and it is not their business وَمَا رُسِلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ حافظين, it means believers should not expect them to confirm their behavior and their deeds Allah says their behavior is to mock at you. Then Allah Taala says, "Wa alayhim hafizin." They think that they are supervisor. They think it means criminals. They believe or they think that they are headmen, and they are your guardians. But Allah says, "Leave them alone, and it is not their business. They are not." your protector then Allah Taala says it means in judgment day they believe the believers bother them the criminals spiritually when they say okay this is something you achieved you have done it and they laugh at them As we understand, Allah says at the beginning in this world, they laugh at you and in judgment day, don't worry, you are going to laugh at them. It means there is a coordination between the deed and reward. They have done something wrong and in judgment day, you will punish them the same as they have done. وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقِصَاصِ حَيَاتٌ يَا أُولِي الْأَلْبَامِ then Allah Taala says, "Hal sabab al kuffar ma kanu yafalun?" Aren't the disbelievers paid for what they have used to do? It means in judgment day, if they are punished, it is because of the reflex of their deed. It is a reflection of their deed. It is like mountain. You shout, and the voice is coming back to you. You disobeyed and made fun of others, in judgment day, you will be punished the same. We ask Allah to help us to stop committing any sin, to blame any other, and try to obey him as he lies. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.